Mr. President, fellow ministers, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, I bring you greetings from the government and people of St. Lucia. We welcome the opportunity to speak under the theme, Health for All, Commit to Universal Health Coverage. The government of St. Lucia is committed to taking decisive and immediate action to create an environment to protect and preserve the health of all persons living in St. Lucia. Currently, our system is such that primary health care is accessible and available to all through our network of primary care centers staffed by skilled and competent healthcare workers. In addition, all medicines are available without cost for persons with diabetes and at minimal cost to all patients. More specialized services are available, sometimes outside of St. Lucia, to those that can afford to pay. But for the unemployed and the poor, the government has to chip in and play God with its scarce resources to assist those in need on a first-come, first-served basis. We recognize that in order to have a healthy nation, it is absolutely necessary to embrace universal health coverage. In that effort, we are making national health insurance a priority. And with assistance of the private sector and other international partners, it will become a reality by the year 2019. St. Lucia, as a small island state, is privileged to have assistance from several countries, including Taiwan, which provides training for our doctors, nurses, and other health professionals through an exchange program with our hospitals. In addition, they send specialists several times a year to provide much-needed services to the people of St. Lucia, including special areas such as nephrology and cardiology. They also provide scholarships for students to undertake medical studies in Taiwan. In my country, Taiwan contributes towards healthy eating and physical activity through a stringent agricultural program and assistance with providing a sporting facility in St. Lucia. The people and government of St. Lucia embrace the WHO Constitution and its objective to attain the highest possible level of health by all peoples. The UN SDG 3 is to ensure healthy lives and promote well-being for all at all ages. The theme of this year's general discussion at WHA is health for all. Commit to universal health care coverage. This clearly shows that WHO is obligated to work for all people worldwide, including the 23 million people of Taiwan. By excluding Taiwan in the WHA agenda, the fundamental right to good health of 23 million people of Taiwan is not accorded the proper recognition by the World Health Organization. Mr. President, we in St. Lucia are very concerned with the fact that Taiwan administers the Taipei Flight Information Region, which oversees 65 million incoming and outgoing passengers on an annual basis. The large flow of tourists and cargo between Taiwan and Southeast Asian countries and mainland China pose an obvious risk in the event of pandemics. We should never forget the SARS outbreak, which happened 15 years ago and resulted in the deaths of dozens of people. We urge WHO to act in accordance with its constitution and work for all people in the world. Let me reiterate, Mr. President, that diseases knows no boundaries. It has no sovereignty and it has no loyalties. St. Lucia would like to take this opportunity to recognize the contributions of its international partners, particularly PAHO, WHO, and including the EU, Mexico, Canada, Martinique, Port of France, Cuba, and Taiwan, for their contributions toward the St. Lucia health system and our quest for health for all. I thank you.